Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this manicure, which I did with a new technique that I'm calling drip marbling. It doesn't give quite the same pattern as water marbling, but I think it's a really cool design. And if you'd like to see how I did it, just stay tuned. I don't have any base coat on yet because I'm just going to be making my decals and then leaving them to dry for a while. I'm going to show you the colors that I'll be using first, as usual. Today all the polish is China Glaze and this lightest pink is called Feel the Breeze. This darker pink is called Dune Our Thing. And this purple is called Ecstasy. And I'm also going to be using liquid leather as my black. There are quite a few things you could use to do the drip marble on. I'm going to be using a plastic lid and you might have one that has like some raised writing on it. You want to find the part of the lid that's smoothest to do your design on. And if you don't have a plastic lid, they're pretty easy to get. Or you could also probably do this on any kind of silicone mat. But I thought that since these are a little stiffer, they'll make it a little easier to manipulate the design. I'm going to start out by laying out a few drops of the lightest pink and I'd say four to six drops is going to be plenty to work with and if the drops start to run together that's also not an issue because they're all going to be running together by the time you're done. I'm going to move on and add drops of the darker pink right on top of the lighter pink and you can see they spread out a little bit but not too much and that's why this technique did not work out as I was thinking for my drip drop design. Um, if you haven't seen that video I ended up having to actually work on top of a wet base of polish to get it to spread out the way I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and finish with my purple drops here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a drop of black on top of each. And you can see these are starting to blend together a little bit, which is perfectly fine. Um, the order that you drip the colors does matter, but not a ton. Um, I'd say that the color you drip last will be some of the most prominent, but you'll see as I get going here that they're pretty much all going to blend together. Once you've dripped them all on there, you basically want to tilt the lid or whatever you're using and start spreading the polish out. And you want to make sure that it covers an area so that you'll have room to create decals for at least a couple nails. And as the polish drips around, it will begin to create a marble design. So. You basically just play with it and you'll be able to play with it as long as it's wet and as long as it's still somewhat thick. As it spreads out more and starts to get thinner, um, it won't drip as much, but you can kind of, it, it really is kind of fun and once you start doing it, you'll just get a feel for it and you'll be able to decide for yourself once your design is done. Um, I'm going to play with this for a little bit longer and then once I have a design that I like and everything is nice and relatively thin, I'm going to just set it somewhere flat to dry and you definitely could do more than one decal per lid. Just keep in mind that as you, if you do a second one, the, if the first one's still wet, it will continue to move around but I don't want to make these too big because I don't want to have any issues with drying like I did with my drip drop. So yeah, I'm going to do a couple more of these and then leave them to dry.
it's been almost two hours so these should be nice and dry and just like if I was working on my mat I'm just gonna try and get them started at the edge get an edge that's enough for me to pull and then whoa that one is actually a little bit soft but it is still peeling up <clears throat> these are a little bit more tricky to peel since they have uneven edges I'm just going to use my fingers here. So just try to have a gentle touch and carefully peel them up. You can see the bottom. You can actually still kind of see the dots that you started out with. But once it's off, you'll have a nice thin strip of marble. And then what I'm going to do is basically pick a part of the design I like make sure it's big enough for my nail and cut out strips for each of my nails. Okay, so I've cut all my decals into smaller strips and what I usually do is lay them all out so that they're in order of how I'm going to be applying them. So this is my pinky, my ring finger, my middle, and so on. If you're not quite as OCD as me, you certainly don't have to do that. Just make sure you have enough cut out for all your nails. And just as a note, as far as peeling them up, I did have one that stuck just a little bit. I was able to peel it up, but it did have a hole in it. So I think they maybe took a little bit longer to dry, even though they were thinner than I expected because it's kind of humid today. I don't know. I haven't done decals enough to make any better guess than that. But I'm going to be sticking them to my nails with Sally Hansen Invisible and I have already applied a base coat and as usual I'm using ready for takeoff. So I'm gonna get started and just apply some of the clear and pick out the one that I decided to place on my pinky from the last couple times I did this, the area right around the cuticle is sometimes the hardest to clean up. So I'm going to try and place it so that I don't have much to do right there. And stick it down around the rest of my nail. Uh, one other note is that these are very soft. Like I mentioned, you don't want them to fold over on each other or lay on top of each other or they are likely to get stuck. So once I've got that all nicely applied on that nail, I'm going to repeat on the rest. Then I'm going to go through and trim off the edges with my orange stick and clean up with acetone just like usual with stickers and if you'd like to see that more in depth, check out one of my other decal tutorials. Um, since I have shown it in more detail in other videos. I did get a little bit picky and decided I didn't like the pattern on my ring finger and peeled it off and put on a different one. Sorry I didn't record that for you guys. I know the peel porn is real popular, but I just didn't think of it until I was already done. But I've got all the cleanup finished and now I'm going to finish off with Sesh Feet. So here's the finished manicure and I'm really just thrilled with how this turned out. This is like the second manicure in a row 
that turned out pretty much exactly like how I was picturing it in my head. And that's always just a little bit of a surprise to me, especially considering these were both new techniques. I did want to give you guys a look at some of my testing. These are the first couple that I did, or I guess a couple's two and this is three, but this is just the two pinks and the purple without any additional color. On this one, I believe this one and this one, I used white instead of the black. And this one here, I used both white and black. But at that point, I decided that I preferred the black most of all. And then these are just a few of my last tests. And if I recall with these, I was kind of experimenting with how I laid out the dots, whether it was, you know, four dots all in a row or four dots more in a square. And I found that that didn't really matter because once you start swirling and it kind of drips around in a more kind of blobby shape, the, the original shape doesn't really make much of a difference. But the possibilities with this drip marbling are really endless and I think the next thing I do is going to be trying it with holographic polishes. So if you'd like to see that, be sure you're subscribed to my channel. I'd love to hear what you guys think down in the comments if you prefer this look or if you prefer a more traditional water marbled look or if you love them both. I think I love them both. It's really nice to have a change up. Of course, if you're looking for all your nails to be really similar or the same, this is not gonna be the look for you because you have a very, very limited amount of control over the design, but I think that's nice for a change. So I hope you guys all enjoyed, and as always, thanks for watching.